It's almost threw up my mouth. <laughs> it's go well. All right. <laughs> I think you should keep the bloopers in. <laughs> they usually do keep stuff in. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, those like reels and stuff. Yeah. Thank you. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we have Michelle here from Cognitive Capital. Uh, she's gonna introduce herself in a minute, but what we're gonna be talking about today is how do self-employed people get mortgages and what's the difference between an A and a B lender for those self-employed people? Um, I get asked this question all the time from a lot of my clients and a lot of friends that you know approach me asking, you know, they have their own business, they've been doing well for the last couple of years, uh, they don't show a lot of it on paper, maybe their business is cash, um, and I actually had the chat this morning with my barber who opened up his own barbershop and a lot of his money, it's a barbershop slash coffee shop slash bar. So a lot of his income, a lot of people pay cash. Anyways, what I'm getting at is how do self-employed people get mortgages? That's what we're going to talk about today. I'll let Michelle introduce herself and we'll go from there. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Michelle. Uh, I'm a mortgage broker. I have been a mortgage broker for about five years. I actually love self-employed mortgages. I think self-employed people off the top of your head um, often sound like they're disadvantaged in the mortgage space, but I feel like there's so many cool creative ways that you can get mortgages. Um, so first, just to differentiate. Well, let's talk about those. Yeah. <laughs> to differentiate between A and B, it's pretty much based on the documents that you need to present. Okay. okay? And the down payment that you're allowed to put down when we're talking about A and B lending. If you have a less than 20% down payment, A is your only option. And when you go to an A lender, okay. you have to present your tax documents, your T1 generals, your notice of assessments. You'll have to show recent deposits and kind of cash flow of your business, um, your corporate financials if you're incorporated. When you go to a B lender, if you have a 20% down payment, you're allowed to go there. You can pretty much just present your bank statements okay. and just prove that you don't owe the CRA any income taxes. How which is showing, huge. How do you do that? Um, you can get a statement of account. You can produce an NOA, okay. I guess. Yeah. So I guess a tax document, but you don't have to show how much you're actually claiming on your T1. Like that is not the number that is being. <laughs> Me thinking the mean like the, the meme with the numbers coming uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what about for people that have a business that's only been in, in, you know, operating for a year? That's totally fine. What about six months? Six months. I've seen six months get done. Um, this is where other things kind of come into play. Like, have you been an employee at like a game company and now you started your own game company? Game? Like, I don't know. That's that what came to mind. Example. It was, it's because I've seen it before actually. Like game, like video Like game? video games, yeah. What, some Fuck people you. Just, okay, sorry, yeah. People just work at video game companies? They work at video game companies, yeah. Like, what do they do? They like test games and shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's new. Uh, okay. Oh, I can answer that. Okay. So, okay. so the point is they have yes. history. If you have history in a similar field okay. prior to becoming self-employed, okay, okay, that's okay. something that's going to add okay. to your application. Okay. So this guy, my, hopefully he's watching, uh, he's my barber. So he's opening, he's been a barber for years and years and years. Now yeah. he's opening his own place finally, mm -hmm. but he's doing it with uh, his partner and she does like lashes and stuff and all that kind of thing. So she, basically it's going to be a barber shop slash like a lash place, lash, whatever stuff the uh, females do, you know, tattooing exactly. eyebrows. Yeah. Okay. And then also at the bottom, they have a coffee shop and bar. Nice. Okay. So because would that help him because he's been in the industry for so long? Yeah. He, he would have definitely wiggle room to get an exception on that. The one thing that I think would maybe be troublesome is how would they, sh like, is he able to differentiate which income is which? Because I can't be like, Hey, here's this barber. And now, Hey, this barber owns this barber shop. And it's making way more money and there's coffee and there's lash. Okay, like, fair, fair, do you know fair. what I'm saying? Yeah. But so basically so saying they somewhere like paint in the a, middle. Yeah. You got to paint a picture. The story the picture. is so important. Like a letter? Um, no, just how your broker positions the deal and okay. sells it to the lender is really important. So it's, it's all obviously important. You're using a good mortgage person. Yeah. Interesting. Mortgage agent. Mortgage broker personally, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Sure. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a broker too. Real estate broker, but Wicked. who's counting? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, okay, so I think, again, that's what a lot of people, a lot of my clients, a lot of my friends are self-employed. They became self-employed during the pandemic or yeah. whatever. They've been self-employed for long enough, but they, I, you're right. They all feel like they're disadvantaged and that they, oh, I can't do it because I don't get a salary position. I don't have enough income because it hasn't been two years, whatever, whatever. But there is ways, there are ways around that. Yeah. I think the number one thing is a self-employed person that you just need to keep in mind is that you either need to have cash on you or you need to have cash on paper. 
you can't like you're not going to get the best of both worlds. Okay. So if you're not claiming income on paper, right. then you need to have money on you. I.e., your down payment needs to be twenty percent. Okay. If you are, if you don't have twenty percent, and you think twenty percent is totally unachievable for you, okay. Bite the bullet, file your taxes better for two years, right. and just like get your ducks in a row and stop complaining about it. Fair. Okay. Because what about time? Is so valuable in real estate. True. You're right. I would rather take a B loan. What Much about, rather. What about uh, somebody that works in um, the entertainment industry, like um, strippers? I was doing bottle service girls, but I like oh, true, true, that. True. Okay. Uh, Ca- the one thing is, well, I've had a couple strippers. So <laughs> cash, um, cash is tricky. Like in general, it's not traceable. Right. So some lenders will allow you to say, Hey, here's the income that's in the bank statements. If we're going stated income, okay. they're a bottle girl. Can we boost this up a bit? Because you know that they're getting a bunch of cash tips. And some lenders actually have that oh. in their policy. They will actually allow you to kind of state a reasonable amount like a, of cash. It's just like you're basically like your word versus like you're just like you gotta hope that they're being honest. Like I make this much no. money. <laughs> no, because like the lender the lender's gonna have their own policy for that. But how are they gonna verify? Say you say they're you, not. They're gonna say the lender's gonna say you know what we have determined that in this industry we think an extra fifteen hundred dollars a month in tips in cash is what's viable. Now, if you're the top bottle girl at the top club in Toronto, what about bottle boys? A bottle boys. <laughs> making, <laughs> I have never seen a bottle boy. Uh, no, I don't think I have you. Uh, this is an inclusive space. This is inclusive. This, this is, is inclusive. This is the nest. We're in the nest. We're in the nest. We're, We're in the nest right now. Yeah, it's a safe the safety space. nest. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, if you work at like the top club, oh, in, the be- and you're, the, you're best. the best. You're the best bottle person. That's better. At um, the best club in Toronto and you're making $1,500 a night, well, it sucks to suck. That's not going to be recognized. Oh. If you want it to be recognized, you just need to start depositing it into your bank account. And here's the thing that people need to remember. The CRA and mortgage lenders are not talking to each other like that. Okay. So if you're not claiming all of that money in your bank statements to the CRA, that's on you. If right. we then show the, C, uh, the mortgage lender, okay, hey, they've been depositing their cash tips for the last deposit them for three months, six months. So I have a record of it. Right. Now I can use that money. Okay. And then it's, it's up to you how you file your taxes. Like that's not our business. <laughs> okay. That's smart. That's good. Right. So like a bit, it is, it's, it's doable. You just have to get creative. Yeah. You need to have cash. You need to have cash and you, you listen, you need to talk to your mortgage broker ahead of time. Like I think the best thing for people to do, especially self-employed people or Honestly, anyone is to speak to their mortgage broker before they think they're ready to buy a home. And the realtor. And the realtor. I'm important too. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do anything until I do that's my just, job. That's fair. I get to open the door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really nice countertops. Like that? Like these floors? <laughs> that's, we do more than that. Okay. <laughs> like the TV here, it doesn't come in this yeah. place. <laughs> <laughs> the furniture here is great. It's like none of it comes with it. It's just the fucking laminate. Take it or no. <laughs> Call Michelle now. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I've speak to so many people. Like, you have time on your hand. How are you depositing? I have people who are um, maybe receiving child support, right. which is income, by the way, and they're cool with their baby daddy or whatever it is, yeah, and yeah. he just pays baby them cash. Person. Yeah, baby person. Um, he just pays them cash, and it's like, I'm like, okay. are you guys cool enough that he can just give it to you oh. and you just deposit it into your account, like? on the same day every right. month for the next month or two. Right. And then all of a sudden that's income that I can use. Cool. Right. And so. you need like what? Six months, a year of that ish. Obviously Tra- longer, the better three, three to six months. Like ideally it's going to be six months for any and, sort of income though. Like, um, like even like, like tra- that. rent, child support two two payments, three payments. I'm good. Okay. Um, self-employed. It's more like six months. Okay. So if you're a bottle girl, start depositing that. Um, and then you can stop depositing your tips literally the day after you close on your home. Right? See, that's a good point. Like, yes, you don't got to claim the whole year. No. Or and we're, we're talking stated income right now. So yeah. I'm using your bank statements and the deposits that are flowing through there is now what I can claim. Too, too much. Can't oh. recording somehow? Okay. Okay. Yeah! You don't have no we're idea. back, baby. Just- All right, so to wrap that up, uh, if you are self-employed and you're looking for some help on how to get a mortgage and you're not sure where to begin, don't feel discouraged. Uh, Michelle is here to help you, and I'm also here to help you. Uh, So again, we hope this video helped you. All right, so to wrap this video up, uh, if you are self-employed and you're feeling discouraged, reach out to either one of us. Michelle will help you. There are tons of options for you, so don't feel that you're at a disadvantage. 
Just make sure to reach out and we'll guide you in the right direction. And thank you so much for watching. If you like the videos that I'm putting out, please hit the subscribe button below and the notification button so you don't miss any videos. Thank you so much. Uh, how we explain, okay, let's do it again, start over again. All right, so to wrap up how, to wrap up, to wrap up, all right, so to wrap up the fact that we just, no. And that's it for self-employed yeah. mortgages. That's right. <laughs>